Hi there guys, uh, welcome to vv.net tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you how you could display a multi-column combo box. To explain what I mean by this, uh, consider th uh, this data set. We have houses, contains house number, house address, person number, and we have person, which contains the name and the, per uh, the uh, sorry, the person number and the person name. Obviously, this is the primary key and this is the foreign key. What we want to do uh, when we try to fold the information here, have a look here. Okay. Uh, usually you provide the person number, either you write the number of the person but this is not practical or you could use a combo box and the combo box as you can see here only displays uh, the name columns in some cases you might need to display more information like two columns or three columns that could uh, give you more details about the person you are choosing Okay. So uh, there is uh, no such control in vb.net. I, I have created one actually to uh, deal with this issue. And uh, I'm going to show you how, how to work with that. So first of all, I've created uh, a DLL of the control. And uh, the first thing you want to do is to, uh, is to add that control to the list of controls available here. So let me show you first. The DLL is here. This is the DLL file. Uh, multi-column combo box and uh, yeah uh, so first you need to add, to add that to the IDE so select tools and uh, let me see you can see here there's choose toolbox items you select that wait a few seconds okay and my system is a little bit slow so it's checking and loading and doing some stupid stuff. I don't know what that is. Okay, so uh, it finished loading. I'm gonna do a browse over here, and I'm gonna go to the desktop and I am gonna choose this. Okay, double click that, and now it is added. I'm gonna say OK. Now the moment you do that, if you check your list of controls, you should find a multi-column combo box available here. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna drag this and drop it, okay? And uh, wait a minute. Okay, there's our control. Now, what you need to do next is bind this control, okay? And there are four properties you need to know in this case. Uh, let me see. It should be okay. So here we have display data source. By this, I mean the table you want to display for the end uh, to the end user in order for him to make a choice. In this case, it is going to be, we want to display personal information. Okay, and then the display member. I couldn't make the wizard do the, this for me and uh, give me only the list related. So instead, I'll have to write the information. In this case, it's going to be person number. Okay, if you forget the correct name, you can just come here and copy the text. Yeah, maybe the next version I can improve this a little bit. Um, yeah. So this is the first property. The second two properties are the save. It means where do you want the information to get saved? I want to save that into house. Uh, and uh, you want that information also to go to the person number. So where is that? Where is that? Save data number. This is going to be person number. OK? So we have that. Um, there is one important thing over here is that uh, the column here it should be identical on both tables uh, it contain uh, it won't work if the name is different uh, yeah so after we do that let's let's test it and see how it works so I'm gonna run this and this is our information and now this is one and uh, oh sorry I did a, a big mistake here I'm sorry so I want to display the name not the number. I want to display the name to the end user and here I want to save the number. Okay. Sometimes it gets a little bit confusing with binding but it's okay. Anyway, so we have the name, no problem. Uh, we can navigate, the information appears. Now what happens when you click here, you get the information. Let me... Okay, so when you click here, what do you see? You see the person number, the person name. I can choose the second one now. It's 
cha uh, change to Michael I can choose from that and now it's another person I can go to other another record and change that and um, I can save the information and you can see it's working very well without any problem okay so uh, you just need to save these four properties and you are ready to go that's all uh, I hope you'll find this useful uh, check out the website you will find uh, the DLL file also you'll find the source code of this control if you have things uh, if you could improve the control uh, that would be better I guess more people will benefit from that um, yeah I hope you'll find this useful okay thanks for watching and have a nice day goodbye